Hi, hello everyone. Today in this video, we would be discussing on the concepts of direct taxation. The key takeaway of this video is meaning and definition of tax, features of tax, objectives of tax, meaning of taxation, and types of taxation. Now, quickly moving into the video. What is tax? A tax is a mandatory payment or a financial charge collected by local state and national governments from individuals or businesses to cover or fund the cost of general government services, goods, and activities. The tax revenues finance government activities, including public work and services, such as roads and schools, or programs such as social security and medicine. Coming to the definition of tax. Tax is an enforced contribution exacted pursuant to legislative authority in the exercise of the taxing power and imposed and collected for the purpose of raising revenue to be used for public or government purposes. Coming to the features of tax. The first feature of tax, tax is a financial charge against a person or his property or on an activity that includes sale, manufacture, import, export, supply and provision of services. A tax is a payment to the government authority by law. The tax is administered by the legislative authority and the tax purpose of requiring the payment is to provide revenues to be used for the public or government purposes. One important feature of tax is that it is not a voluntary payment or a donation. It is enforced and mandatory contribution to the exchequer. And one of the other important feature is there are no special benefits and services or privilege that are received as a result of making the payment. So these are the features of tax. Now moving on to the objectives of tax. The first objective of tax is raising revenues to the government or taking up more economic activities. Tax regulates the consumption and production of economic activities. It encourages domestic industries, stimulates investment in the economy, reduces the income inequalities because of the tax payments, promoting economic growth as it generates revenues to the government, and development of backward regions with the revenues generated through tax. It also ensures priced stability. Now coming to the next concept, what is taxation? It is an act of living tax or the act of living tax is called as taxation. The persons who are taxed have to pay the taxes irrespective of any corresponding return from the goods or services by the government. The taxes may be imposed on the income and wealth of a person or a corporations and the rate of the tax may vary. The categories into which we can place direct and indirect taxes are called as taxation. Now coming to the types of taxation, there are four types of taxation. One is progressive taxation, the regressive taxation, and the proportional taxation. And the fourth one is the degressive taxation. Now coming to what is progressive taxation, it's a positive change or the tax increases in proportion to the increase in income. So there's a positive change in the marginal rate of tax. Coming to the regressive taxation, there's a negative change in the marginal rate of tax. The income increases, but the tax decreases. Coming to the third type, the proportional taxation, there is no change in the marginal rate of tax. The tax rate doesn't change in proportion to the increase in the income. Coming to the last degressive taxation, it's a tax or a tax is called degressive when the rate of progression in taxation does not increase in the same proportion as the increase in income. 
In this case, the rate of tax increases up to a certain limit. After that, a uniform rate is charged. Degressive tax is a combination of progressive and proportional taxation. This type of taxation is often used in case of income tax. And this is the case of income tax in India. Thank you for listening to my video. See you soon in the next video.